ACV stands for above cuff focalization and it's a technique for a patient with a tracheostomy when the cuff is inflated which allows us to deliver airflow through the larynx and upper airway. So the patient needs to have a tracheostomy tube which has a subglottic port and that was designed originally for allowing removal of secretions from above the cuff and that helps to reduce the risk of ventilator associated pneumonia but we can use the subglottic port to also insufflate an airflow for ACV. Ruth, can you start with one litre? How does that feel? Hey! So ideally, for the first trial of ACV, it would be conducted by a speech and language therapist in order to establish the laryngeal function, secretion issues, and that the airflow is escaping via the upper airway because if we try to deliver gas flow and the upper airway is obstructed, there's nowhere for the gas to go. We need to establish that the upper airway is patent. Following that, it's safe to deliver ACV as long as we keep the flow rates low and we supervise patients whilst they're on ACV trials. The reason that we say supervise the patient on ACV is because if the tracheostomy tube were to become slightly dislodged and the subglottic port was uh, pressing against the soft tissues, then the air could escape into the soft tissues and cause subcutaneous emphysema. And so to mitigate that risk, you should never leave your patient unattended. We need to make sure that the stoma is stable and there's no bleeding or oozing issues. We wouldn't use ACV in those patients. And we need them to be sufficiently medically stable. There can be some minor adverse effects when you deliver ACV. For example, a patient sometimes may gag, but the main thing is that the secretions that are sitting above the cuff will be expelled through the upper airway and into the mouth. And this is actually really, really helpful because those secretions have been sitting above the cuff. But it's important that you warn the patient that this might happen and that you have oral suction ready. It's perhaps not widely understood that you can also use ACV alongside cuff deflation trials. So when you're trying to wean the patient from a ventilator and establishing cuff deflation, there are still times when that patient will have their cuff inflated. So when the cuff is inflated, patients often get desensitized in the larynx and upper airway. So by reinstigating airflow with ACV, we can literally switch the swallow back on and trigger the laryngeal adductor reflex that you need for both airway protection and cough.